In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a small fishing boat in Minecraft. Now, if you guys are new to the channel tool, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in more ship tutorials in general, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full tutorial playlist. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So here we are on my flat tutorial world. Um, so this one's really, really simple. The water line, basically your slabs are gonna be underneath the water. By underneath the water, like if this white wall was water, that's that's where your slabs are. So really, really simple, really small. Um, but I need a lid of small ships, so I thought, why not build some? So we're gonna do, uh, well, technically two versions, one with the sails up, uh, which I've kind of just draped them here, and one with the sails actually out. And I'll, I'll potentially show you a couple different ways of doing that. So just to go through the kind of um, actual size of this thing, so you know where to fit it. Uh, it is 10 blocks long, 3 blocks wide, and 9 blocks high in total. So that's your kind of dimensions that you are working with. Um, height usually doesn't matter. And if you're wondering where the front is, it is literally right at the front. So if you're building it right up against a harbour or anything like that, that's what, what's going on. Same with the back as well. So you guys are going to need some materials, of course. So grab yourself a jungle slab. Jungle stair, oak slab, spruce trapdoor, um, don't know why I delete that one, uh, spruce fence, spruce fence gate, birch fence. Uh, the birch fence gate is going to be for a couple different uh, kind of sail designs that we're going to be doing. Uh, and you're also going to need some white wool, but you can always go with anything else if you want to make it a different colour. Those are going to be your base materials, there's going to be a couple bits for the, uh, I don't want to say interior, but you know, there's just cobwebs and barrels. Um, so that's all we've really got. So um, yeah, what I've done is created myself a nice little box, as you can see here. Again, that is 10 blocks long and three blocks wide. So if you guys wanna do that, you can do. Um, I've just been doing this so that you guys can fit it in the harbor quite easily. So from the front of this box, you're gonna leave two blocks. And then with your uh, jungle slabs, you are gonna have seven uh, jungle slabs on the upper piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven should still be directly inside the box. And what you'll see is we get a spruce fence just on the end there. That's gonna be the rudder. So that's what we get for the first kind of layer. We can then delete this uh, kind of starting point there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come forwards with a jungle slab from here, and then we're gonna come forwards again, and it's gonna, of course, make that one a block. So we can then get rid of that, like, there. So we get these slabs just stepping upwards. From the side here, we're gonna have a slab on the side, just like that, and we're gonna do it on the other side as well. It's got a slab on the side. Then we have jungle stairs, we're gonna have seven upside down jungle stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just to make the nice boat shape. And the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On the back, we're gonna have a stair that's just over that fence. So that's what we're gonna do right there. Then what we'll do is with your oak slabs, we're gonna go, we're gonna have one on the front here. They're going to have two on the sides. It's just to make it look like it's a little bit raised. And it also gives it a little bit of colour as well. Um, so those are the kind of reasons for it. Then with your spruce uh, trapdoors, I'm going to remember which way these go. They go across. There we go. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go most of the way back until we've got like one block just showing here. Just with spruce trapdoors. So we go right to the back there. And it's just a little bit of detail. Not really much going on there though, if I'm honest. Um... Right, with your oak slab now, what we're gonna do is where we've got the second spruce trap door, we're gonna have an upper slab, an oak slab, right in the middle of this, of this here. This is where we're gonna actually have it holding the mast. So the idea would be the mast goes through that and then hits the floor. Obviously we can't do that in Minecraft, but because it's so small, you can't see underneath there anyway. Uh, if you wanted to just have the mast go straight down, you can do. And also if you wanna have places where people can sit, you know, feel free to put these in, either using slabs or using trap doors, totally up to you guys. On the back, put a spruce fence right here, then have a fence gate. So you might have to build up here like this, or if you shift and click, you can just do it straight off of a block. That is gonna be the rudder, so you know, you'd be, you'd be sat here, standing here, and be able to move it, um, and that's the kind of idea with that. Um, right at the back, I actually put in a little jungle stair here as a seat, uh, and it just helps finish off the shape of the boat, I think. So that's what we get in there, okay. So for the mast, what we're gonna do is from this one right here, I'm gonna leave that one in, I actually quite like it. Um, we're gonna go up with seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is with your birch fence, I should say. So seven blocks high with your birch fence off of this one right here. Um, you can, if you wanted to, move the sail around as well. There's no reason why not. 
What I did for my drooped sail is just one block down from this. I had two on the side. So that's two white wool on the side. One on the front here, right by the side of that. And then one underneath that. And then one out to the side and then down. So I had it quite a lot of sail really is going on with this bit. Um, that's what I did for mine being kind of drooped down. You could just have it, you know, where you've got a couple bits of it. Um, like that perhaps, but that didn't look quite right. So that's why I went with that. Um, now, for your actual sail itself, you could do quite a few different things. Um, if you wanted it where it's going backwards, if you grab a fence gate or something like that, you can have that going off of the back here and go one, two, and probably three in total. I'm really struggling to place this. There we go, like that. So if you wanted to have it like that, you can then have a nice sail going off across here. So if you build it really basic, like kind of shape, we might go with a one three going down, then a one on the back there, or even a two. And then we can actually start pushing this out as well. So we can have this where it goes out like this. And let's tweak this a little bit. So you might have something, something like that that goes out. And if you wanted one off of the front, you could do a similar kind of a thing where you just build the structure out first. You want it to where it goes kind of to there, I would say, and then build it out from here and try not to delete your mast like I did. Um, but this is how you would do it if you wanted the sail to come out at all, like that. And you potentially... Nah. <laughs> always try stuff out, just don't always go with it. So I'd say, no, we definitely need that bit on the bottom there. So if you want to do something like that, you can do. Or if you want to, you know, remove this completely and have it just where you've got two separate cells really clear, you can do. Or even up there, I would say also look pretty good so that's that's one way you can do it if you wanted the back sail like that um, if you just wanted a forward sail then you know just build your forward sail instead so have this you know coming out a little bit and this is where you know organic types type shapes in Minecraft um, they are exactly that so I'm figuring it out as I go and that is the best way to do it I have found anyway so there we go. you might have something like that and then here, and then probably pull it back to there, like that. Something like that, if you wanted it just to be a forward sail. You know, there's loads of different options is what I'm trying to say with this, guys. Um, you know, with these type of things, you can do whatever you want. Um, and it's the same with moving this mast as well. Moving the mast to right and forward here would work, and uh, potentially doing it either one block back or even two blocks back. Um, would also work to give you guys some variation on this one. Uh, but for me, I had mine in my harbour all kind of moored up with the sail up uh, like that. So details wise, uh, there's not a lot really going on, if I'm honest, but that's because it's so small. So we've got a barrel and we've got some cobwebs. The cobwebs are nets. Um, so it's up to you where you want to put your barrel. Um, you can put your barrel in the front or in the back. Um, totally up to you, really. You can put a couple barrels in and you can put a couple cobwebs in wherever you want. You could maybe even put a cobweb on the back because then you've got a net there that they can then cast out. Uh, it's totally up to you. Probably if you put in one of these, um, I wouldn't have the barrel there. So that's the only thing that I wouldn't do. But as you can see, I've done it completely different to that one. Um, but that's the, that's the key with these. You know, make them look a little bit different um, because that will help mix up the materials as well if you guys want to. But that is it anyway, guys, for the tutorial. Um, it'd be really cool to see what you guys do with this one and where you place it. So make sure to post that to me on my discord but anyway guys thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one later